everybody welcome back to the channel hopefully today will be the last day that I need to blade the drive we've had probably two weeks of extremely cold weather and snow I'm ready for spring I don't know about everybody else after I blade this I need to run back drag a few trees to the wood pile uh, they're calling for close to 60 degree weather next week so it's going to be extremely muddy in the fields later on i'm going to run to the shop i need to blade a little over there and uh let's get started I'm gonna run back down and show everybody, but if you noticed when I bladed the driveway, not sure if you caught the buckets that are out beside the trees. And if you're wondering what that is, it's because we're trying to make maple syrup again this year. We did this a few years back and really had a fun time doing it. Uh, Jess would come home from lunch and empty the buckets out uh, we tapped the trees and we made about eight pints, if I'm thinking right, of pure maple syrup. And this year we're going to try it again. A couple trees, we've learned a few things. We can put multiple taps in the trees, so that will increase the syrup. So I'm going to hop out of the tractor here and I'm going to show you exactly kind of how we got this and uh, just something kind of fun to do. On this particular tree it was larger than 18 inches in diameter so we were able to put multiple taps on it. I believe we could still put one more tap on this tree and now she bought this kit online what it is you drill a 5 8 hole I believe it was into the maple tree at a slight, very slight uphill. And the tube connects, the sap's gonna run down, fill up our five gallon bucket. We have two buckets on this tree and we do have uh, three, four, I believe four more buckets out. We picked up a few more buckets today, so something kind of fun to do. if. Uh, good learning experience there for the kids trying to make make maple syrup and that's we did it a couple years ago we're gonna try it again this year press enjoys it I'm sure Josie will enjoy it when she grows up good way to get the kids out and teach them a little bit about how things were done back in the day and make them appreciate whenever they have pancakes sitting on the table that syrup. 
that is some good syrup when it goes on there so either way hopefully in the next couple days we will start seeing some sap flow out of the trees we are probably about a month behind maybe more there's been a lot of people already have taps out we just got started so that's fine we're not big into it so we just enjoy making it and Sunday mornings uh, usually it's pancakes and bacon and eggs and it's nice to open up that syrup and pour it across those pancakes knowing where it came from very very interesting very nice to do so we're gonna run back pull some trees out before the big thaw starts to happen next week I got to get them out of the field before it gets too muddy and uh, I guess we'll head head back and start grabbing trees So I would typically not be pulling trees around our wood pile. I would usually cut them in the spot, block them up, or take a trailer out and convey the wood into the trailer and bring it in. But because of the snow, the warm weather we got coming next week, and the week after next we have rain coming in, the field is going to be ridiculous wet. So. I got to make sure I've got this out of here. Uh, they will be planting in probably April or May, somewhere in there, and I just want to make sure I've got this wood out so that I don't have anything laying around. And when it's in the field back in the back where it was, it's kind of tricky to get to sometimes. It can be very, very muddy back there, and that's what I'm concerned with. So that's why I'm pulling it out, and uh, I will cut this near the wood pile, and uh, I'll go from there. So I hope you all enjoyed the video today. I actually got the drone out a little bit today, which uh, took me a little while to kind of get used to the controls again, but a little bit different view instead of just the first person view camera, I guess. And uh, hope you all enjoy it. I'm gonna go ahead and try and scrape a little bit more of this slush off and hopefully next week it will be warm. So I'm hoping for spring. Once again, if you all could, please hit the like button subscribe and share this with your friends we'd appreciate it and uh thanks for watching